Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO module. We'll continue with the asset accounting in which we will we have been doing asset classes. As discussed, asset class is one of the most important criteria for structuring the fixed assets from an accounting point of view. Asset class means the group of similar assets or more simply you can say asset classes means the different asset blocks. One particular block referred to one particular category of asset, fixed assets like land could be one block, building could be another block, furniture and fixtures could be a different block. So on these different parts, different fixed assets are named as different asset classes in the SAP system. Every asset has to be assigned to exactly one asset class. Obviously that every fixed asset will be a part of one particular block. So that particular asset has to be assigned to one particular asset class in the SAP system. The asset class is used to assign the assets to the correct general ledger accounts. So once you assign the asset to the correct asset class, that particular asset class is also linked with the account determination as you can see on the screen and discussed that each asset class is linked to the account determination. So for which that the it is decided that to which particular general ledger account that particular asset value will be transferred or will be posted to and it is on the basis of that asset class the system defines the screen layout rules which will be followed for that particular asset and what number range will be provided to that particular asset is depends upon what asset under which asset class that particular asset master has been created. So the most important task of asset class are the assignment of default values when creating the asset. So whenever we create any asset, that asset is termed as asset master just like when we create a customer or a vendor that particular customer is said customer master or vendor is vendor master. Similarly when we create an asset in the SAP system it is termed as asset master and each asset master has to be assigned to one particular asset class or you can see the asset block. Second important task is of grouping of similar assets for reporting purposes. So if you assign the asset to a correct asset class it becomes easier for the reporting as well because at any point of time we can get the reports for each block within just a couple of seconds. So you can have reporting as well as per the different asset classes. You can you can take prints, you can take the reports for different uh, uh, what are the different buildings available to you, what are the different furniture and fixtures within the uh, as on a particular period and uh, different particular plant and machinery. So accordingly different asset classes or reports can be executed if they have been maintained correctly. So by entering the useful default values it reduces the time and efforts needed for creating new asset master records. It also ensures that the records in a given class are handled uniformly. So the other criteria for classifying fixed assets are, is as per the different legal and management requirements. So that can be easily handled when with the help of asset class. So now move on to the SAP screen and we create the asset classes for all the different asset uh, different blocks we created at the time of account determination and screen layout. Now those particular blocks will actually take physical shape or sorry virtual slip in the SAP system. Uh, so we'll be creating these different account different particular groups as the asset classes in the SAP system now. So when we move to the SAP screen, you can see over here the next tab over here the next configuration step is to define the asset classes. So 
to define the asset classes we need to execute this particular step so once we execute it will take you to the next screen and you can see there are a number of different asset classes already defined in the SAP system uh, there are some by default SAP itself and some which have been already defined by some other people or the users who have been working on this particular system so to create our own asset classes or our own blocks we will be moving on to new entries so you can see this whole page is blank as of now now what I will be doing is I will be creating my own asset class like 9100 will be for land so I will be creating land with 9100 so you need to fill it over here is 9100 land if you want you can give the sort text as well so as to make it easier for search and now over here you can see that it asks you for the account determination the screen layout rule and the number range that is why I said in the screen that the asset class is linked with the account determination screen layout and number range because these three things get linked to this particular asset class so we need to define the account determination over here if you go for the account determination and look for the options what are the different options available so you can see that we had created 9100 as account determination and this is the account determination by which the system decides to which general ledger account or the ledger account this particular land values will be posted to now in the same way we will go for a screen layout rules and we can search for the screen layout as well so the screen layout you can see over here we created 9100 so that is what I have taken 9100 as well so what I did is I kept these all values similar to each other if you want you could keep these different as well it's up to you how you want to take the system as on but for me I would be taking it similar so as to easily correlate the things so moving on to the number range I will be taking the number range as 01 if you remember we created the number ranges from 01 to 07 so the first one will be taken as uh, the land is given to as a 01 part so that is what you have to take care of that it will be you need to take the asset class over here you have to de put the description then you need to select the account determination screen layout the number range over here in case you want that an external number range should be provided then in that case you can also tick this mark as well else you will keep this 01 so that the system will give the number to the particular asset masters automatically by the system internally now moving on to the next is if you go for below over here page down you will find there is an option of history status and over here you will see the manage historically so if you want the inventories to be reflected in the reports that is the quantities to be reflected into the uh, into the reports then you need to take this manage historically as well so this is what you need to select and even if you want the inventory to be included in asset then even you can take this particular part as well so this is what you need to do you need to select the account determination the screen layout the number range you need to select the include asset then you must have to take care that this will always remain the same no AUC or similar management AUCs this is by default will remain the same don't change it let it be as it is manage historically and this is what you need to do and then we can go and we can save this screen so your first asset class that is for land has been created for you 
so you can save it so the asset class for land has been created similarly you can go and you can create for the next one to new entries again now we can go to 9200 and the 9200 was for building so you can go next to building the same you can copy in the short text as well you need to take the account determination over here the screen layout I am putting it directly if you don't remember you can go and you can search it with the F4 function 4 key on the keyboard I am putting the number range as 02 then I can click on to this manage historically as well now I can save this screen so your second number has been defined now similarly you can go to the third 9300 the third one is planted machinery you can put this over here very much similar as we created for land there is no change in it ninety four hundred is for vehicle Similarly, we'll be creating for 9500. Now, 9500 is for furniture and fixture. Okay. back now we can go to the next that is hardware similarly you can create hardware now we can move on to the next is 9700 that is asset under construction this is slightly different so for 9700 assets under construction which is also known as AUC 9700 The number range I can give it is 07. Now there is a small difference for AUC assets which you have to take care of. So for this you need to select the second status of AUC as line item settlement. Why? The AUC assets that is the asset under construction are those which have actually is not ready for usage. It is right now under construction phase so assets which are under construction phase they have been taken as asset under construction on which no depreciation is calculated from the day one until they are ready for usage so uh, in, in the beginning we keep these and we don't calculate any depreciation on the asset under constructions and once the asset is ready for usage is completed and and the ready for the usage at that point of time we take those AUC assets and we do the settlement we transfer those particular AUC assets from AUC to the finished goods part and accordingly in that particular block so for that you need to take this line item settlement option over here 
so you must have to remember for all the different assets classes it will remain no AUC but for AUC that is asset under construction it will be line item settlement always because later on we we do the settlement as per the line items which have been posted in the AUC construction asset uh, to the finished goods So now we can go and we can save the AUC assets over here. So your AUC assets has been saved now. So this is how you need to create your asset classes. And this asset class is very very important because the asset class is the one which decides your, your block in which your asset master will be, will be stored. It decides your... Uh, ledger account in which your values will be posted your screen layout and the number range ultimately so all these steps which we did account determination a screen layout and number range ultimately are assigned to this asset class only and on the basis of these assets class only those those uh, things works those configuration steps works so moving on to the next configuration step that is for assigning GL accounts so for assigning the GL account for the assets class we need first to create the GL account for those so we'll first go back and we'll create the GL accounts so as on the screen the following GL has to be created in the asset accounting so that all the different processes of assets could be executed now in this under the asset head we need to create the fixed asset reconciliation account and accumulated depreciation account fixed asset reconciliation account basically is the asset account and this has to be created for respective asset classes if there is land for land a separate asset account will be open for building a separate asset class for land, plant and machinery furniture or vehicle everyone will have a separate asset account so that their particular transactions can be easily gone through with their particular ledger accounts and we don't have to face much problem in analyzing and finding the values out of them but in case if you assign one GL for all the asset account it will create a huge problem for reconciling the uh, the asset accounts the asset accounting values with the that of the ledger account so that is why it is preferred to have separate asset GLs for all the asset classes similarly is the case for accumulated depreciation so for every asset assets accumulated depreciation we will be having separate GL account as per the asset class now moving on to the income side whenever we make any retirement of assets the retirement of assets could be sale to customer or sale without customer so when we make a sale there has to be a sale of asset account and in case there can be a loss or profit on sale of assets so we need the two jail accounts ledger accounts for profit on sale of asset and loss on sale of assets account and to book the depreciation for the current year we need the depreciation account for respective ledger accounts so now we'll be creating separate ledger accounts for all these different asset classes let's move on to the SAP screen and create these ledger accounts now FS00 so if you move over here we can create we can have to take the number over here as a new number suppose I took 100021 which is not used as of now and we can go to this create and now I can go to the assets it's a part of balance it account select the balance it and need to put the sort text so suppose I am creating the GL account for building so that is what you need to do building account now you need to go to the control data and over here you need to take the reconciliation account for account type so whenever you are creating any ledger account which is used in asset accounting you have to assign to the reconciliation account that is assets over here 
then you need to go to line item display this is what you need to do in this particular part of control data then we need to go to the create bank and interest in this you need to select the field status group so we can go and we can search the field status group so for every reconciliation account GL there is only one field status group which we discussed earlier as well that is G067 so this is a separate reconciliation field status group which is assigned to all the reconciliation ledger accounts so you need to take this so this is what you have to take and once you have defined these things you can go and you can save this screen and your ledger account for building is created <laughs> similarly you have to go back you can uh, want to display this particular what has been created you can even check it again that this GL100021 is defined for building its control data you can check that we have defined the reconciliation account and we selected the line item display in create bank and interest we took the reconciliation field status group as G067 so this is how the building ledger has been created similarly you will be creating the other asset as well other GL account for assets like 22 you can take for plant and machinery so this is what you can take up next over here similarly you need to create you need to go to the control data select the reconciliation account select the line item display and then go to create bank in this and G067 and save it similarly you need to go for the next GL for furniture and fixture now I know that all are similar in nature everything is similar as per the uh, GL account so what I can do I can copy from the an existing asset uh, and I can just change the name of that description how with template so we can go to this template I know that the GL which I just created 100022 is very much similar to what I will be creating now so I will put this particular GL account in the company code and will go for enter so you will see that all the fields have automatically got copied over here but I need to change this part because this is what relates to the the last GL so I will change the description over here that is furniture and in below as well I will be changing it to furniture and fixtures account and you can see the rest of the thing has automatically copied with the template which we just used you have the reconciliation account is asset the account management line item displays there in it and the field status group is G067 so this is how you need to create your ledger account for all the asset classes so I have just created a couple of them out of it now if you want to check these things you can go to the F4 option or we can take the list of the GL account from over here enter so you can see in this screen that the GL account has been created from over here for assets so for land there is 100020 for building there is 21 for plant and machinery 22 for furniture and fixtures 23 similarly you can create 24 for vehicle 25 for uh, another as hardware 26 for uh, AUC assets so as we created the different assets ledger account for land building plant and machinery furniture and fixtures and similar Similarly, we'll be creating the accumulated depreciation account for each of the assets. So each asset ledger will have a respective accumulated depreciation ledger for the same. So now we'll create the accumulated depreciation with the code FS00. So earlier we defined the last asset we defined was 10023 that is 
furniture and fixtures. So now what we will be doing is we will be defining the equality depreciation with the starting series as 3, 0. So as to keep the accumulated depreciation sequence number different and asset sequence number as a different path. So we'll create first the accumulated depreciation for land. So for land there will not be any accumulated depreciation ledger as on land there is no depreciation is imposed. So we'll create the second one that is the building. So for building I will be taking 31 as a number. If you wish you can have any of the numbers can be taken. So going to new entries, we'll select asset, balance it account. It's very much exactly the same as we created the assets account. There is no change in it except the description. Then we need to select the reconciliation GL over here and the line item display. And we'll select over here the field status group as G067. Save. So your accumulated ledger account, accumulated depreciation for building has been defined over here. As you can see, similarly you can create for plant and machinery as 32 asset. Control data, reconciliation account, line item display, and then the field status group is G067. And then you can save it. So, similarly, you will be creating the accumulated depreciation account for the rest of the assets that is furniture and fixtures. So, similarly, you can create like uh, furniture and fixtures. For the GL number 100033, you can go to this new create assets balance it account and then you can take over here the accumulated depreciation for furniture. You can write the description over here. So now the control data, the reconciliation account will be assets. Have to tick the line item display and then go to create bank and interest. And over here the field status group again will be G067. So this is how you need to create your own asset ledger account. And each asset ledger account will have its respective accumulated depreciation ledger account except land and assets under construction assets. So as per the, the screen we have created the fixed asset reconciliation account for land, building, plant and machinery, furniture and similarly we have created some of the accumulated depreciation GL as well. The rest you can create of your own as similar to it just only there is a change in the description of the asset what asset you will be creating for now moving on to the next is income so we have to create sale of asset GL and profit on sale of assets so now moving on to the income side that is the revenue side now we can check the revenue GL which starts with the series you can see over here the revenue GL starts with the series as 3. So you can see in this the 3 series is, has only 2 GL that is 00 and 01. So we can use 02 and then 03 for sale of asset and profit on sale of assets. So we'll be using now the next number as 02 300002 for creating assets for sale going to the new entries create and then over here we need to select the income profit and loss account sort description sale of 
assets long description again sale of assets account we need to go to the control data and now in control data we need to select only the line item display now here we will not be taking reconciliation account reconciliation account for account type is taken only when they are the balance it ledgers or balance it items so I'm moving to the next create bank and interest in this the field status group will be G001 so selected now we can save it so we have created the GL account for sale of assets similarly we'll be creating the ledger 0300003 for profit on sale of assets so we go to create and now we can select income profit and loss account so this will be profit on sale of so assets Now I'm going to control data. Again here you need to select only the line item display. Moving next, you need to select the G001 and save it. So we have created now the sale of, of assets account and the profit and sale of assets account. Now we'll move to the next is expenses ledger that is loss on sale of asset and depreciation account. So the expenses ledgers start with the series as 4 so we can go ahead in that and you can see these all GL which is starting on the below with 4 are expenses ledgers so in this you can see only 010204 has already been used so we'll be using the next number which is left that is 400005 we will be using now so we'll create this five go to create now this is an expense ledger we are creating so the account group will be expense it's a part of profit and loss account the short text will be loss on sale of asset and the long text will also be there loss on sale of asset account you can go to control data here you again have to take the line item display and that's all then the create bank and interest here you need to take the field status group and the field status group will be G004 as said G004 is used for all the expenses so you can save it now and your ledger account for loss and sale of asset has been defined has been created similarly we will be creating GL400006 for depreciation. So now for depreciation, we will have to create multiple depreciation account for respective assets because each asset will have its own separate depreciation account. So we'll first go to expenses, profit and loss account, and then depreciation on. building so depreciation on building will be a separate ledger will be a separate ledger go to control select the line item display then we need to create bank and this over here you need to select G004 and save it so similarly as we have created depreciation for building similarly we will be creating the ledger account for depreciation for plant and machinery for furniture and fixtures and others so we'll go for seven now create expenses profit and loss account now they will be depreciation on on plant and machinery so the full description can be written over here 
that will be depreciation on plant and machinery account then in control data you need to select the line item display and then in the create bank and interest we need to take G004 as a field status group and save it so similarly you will be creating your depreciation for different assets account that is for land sorry for land there will not be any depreciation account for furniture fixtures vehicles hardware you need to create separate depreciation account so this is what we have created the ledger account as of now now once this ledger account has been created we will be assigning this ledger account in the asset class so that respectively integration with that particular ledger can be done so you have to be very much clear that what ledger account you have to create and we have to assign so we have to create separate ledgers for each asset class for fixed asset reconciliation account accumulated depreciation account and depreciation accounts sale of assets profit on sale of assets and loss on sale of assets the GL will be used as a single for all so moving up to the next configuration step is assigning GL accounts under this step we will be assigning the balance sheet accounts and the depreciation accounts for assets accounting where we will be assigning the ledger accounts to different asset class the transaction code for this is A090 if you go to the SAP screen the transaction A090 enter now over here in this, in this you first have to fill your chart of depreciation that is 1200 enter so you can see the screen now the chart of depreciation is 1200 for the company code 1200 and the chart of account over here is 1000 so you need to select this chart of count over here from this tab over here and then you need to go to account determination double click on this so when you double click on this over here then this will give you the list of all the different account group keys which are defined in the system and if you remember this 9100 till 9700 we have defined these keys but yet we have not assigned the ledger account in this account determination is the one which links your assets to the general ledger accounts so in this keys now we will be assigning the different ledger accounts as per the different assets so first we'll be moving to the land we'll select this land over here and now once we have selected we'll click double click on the balance it accounts so when you double click on to the balance it accounts you will find the screen over here and these all these screens are blank if you can see so in this blank screen fields only we need to assign the ledger account so that accordingly the values will get posted to these different ledgers so in the first one over here in the acquisition and production cost we need to assign the land GL so we can go and we can search for this over here enter so in this you can find the land GL this is over here 100020 so that is what will be assigned to this particular tab the next what you assign you have to assign is over here retirement account assignment in this we need to assign the loss made on asset retirement without revenue so in case there is any kind of a loss suffered on retirement of the assets will will uh, that for that the ledger account will be assigned in this particular field so in this we will be assigning the loss on sale of assets ledger so again we go to the list of ledger accounts and we assign the ledger over here so in this we can search the loss on sale of assets so you can see over here the loss on sale of assets account is there then moving on to the next is clearing account revenue from asset sale 
in this ledger we need to assign the sale of assets account so again we'll go and we can search for the ledger account so now we can assign the ledger in this that is sale of assets account then gain from asset sale means profit on sale of assets so we again have to go and search and we have to assign the profit on sale of assets account these are all the ledgers we have just created in the last step so we'll be searching now is gain on sale of asset that is profit on sale of assets so that has been assigned over here loss on sale of asset and loss made on sale of retirement will have the same ledger because ultimately they are actually the loss on sale of assets account so we'll have the similar assets in them so that is what you need to take over here and the below ledger will remain blank these are the basic ledger account with which, which we need to assign in these tabs so once you you have assigned these you can click on to the enter button on the keyboard and you will find the description of that ledger account has been updated over here to you now once these account has been defined for balance it account as you can see now we can move to the depreciation part so now when we go to depreciation double click on to the depreciation field and you can see in this we assign the depreciation ledger accounts in this particular screen now these all the part is related to your depreciation and depreciation can be ordinary special or unplanned depreciation but in case of land depreciation is not charged as a result of which we will not be assigning any depreciation ledger accounts in the land asset so that is what has been done in this particular land case and now you can go and you can save the screen <coughs> so the ledger account has been assigned to the account determination key for land that means these will automatically get linked to your land asset class now we can go back so now again similarly we will be selecting and we'll go to the next asset so first asset land the ledger account has been assigned to the land assets now we'll go to the building select the building from over here we need to select this over here now we need to go to balance sheet account double click on to the balance sheet so when you double click on this you will again find the same screen as in the land part so same way we need to assign the ledger account in each of the assets so in this now we need to go again over here in acquisition we will be assigning the ledger for building so we'll again search the ledger account from the list of the ledgers or GL accounts now over here you can find the building is there 100021 double click on this and a building ledger has been assigned over here similarly we'll go below and we'll assign loss made on asset retirement so over here the same ledger will be assigned that is loss on sale of assets so whenever there is a loss on sale of asset it can be any kind of a loss will be assigned to the loss on sale of asset account so will be this is over here loss on sale of assets then moving on to the next clearing account revenue from asset sale so in this we will be assigning the sale on assets account so we can see sale of assets account moving to the next is gain from asset sale so that GL will be selected again for loss from sale asset sale will have the same ledger as over here to this and these are the same ledger as we have defined in the last uh, uh, asset that is land these are the same ledger this will continue the same way for all the assets the main thing which changes over here is this part the first tab over here for respective assets their ledger account will change like for land there was a different ledger for building it will be for building ledger for platted machinery the ledger will again change so this acquisition ledger account will be changing and this field will remain same for all because the loss on sale of asset is is only the same GL the sale on asset is the same and the gain on asset sale again same 
So now this has been done. We'll move to the depreciation part. So over here we just have assigned as of now the balance sheet account. Take care, take note of that. These all the GL which has been assigned is for balance sheet account. Now we'll be moving to depreciation. So double click onto the depreciation over here, and you will find the second tab over here in this case. So in this case we will be assigning the first one over here, and that will be. So in the first part over here we will be assigning the. Accumulated depreciation account. As you can see, the word itself, accumulated depreciation account for ordinary depreciation. So over here, we will be assigning the accumulated depreciation account for building. So we'll go and we'll search the accumulated depreciation for building ledger. So over here, we can find the accumulated depreciation for building. So double click, and it's been selected over here. Now moving on to the next is expense account for ordinary depreciation. So over here we need to select the expense account that is the depreciation account on building. Now we'll move again and we'll assign the depreciation on building account over here that we have created in this screen over here now. So now uh, depreciation on building has been assigned. The same GL will be assigned now. To this tab also, the same GL will get assigned to this also. So you can find all these uh, these accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation will have the same GL that is one zero 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 three one that is accumulated depreciation on building. Because it can be any kind of a depreciation, but it will, if it is accumulated, it will have only one GL, and if it is an expense account, it will have only one GL. That is depreciation on building. So now, when you click on to the enter over here, you will find the description over here on the one side of the ledger. So this is accumulated depreciation on building. Again, this is accumulated depreciation. Special depreciation doesn't matter whether it is a normal, a special, or unplanned depreciation. All will go to the accumulated part if it is a part of accumulated. And if it is an expense account, that will go to the depreciation on building account. So this is what you need to assign it over here. Once this has been assigned, your your GL assignment for building asset class has been done. You can save this over here, and then we can move to the next asset that is plant and machinery. So again, we can select this over here, and we can. Go to balance sheet account. Double click onto the balance sheet. Mind it, you first need to select this over here. Then only you can go to balance sheet account and double click on the, this particular tab, and it will take you over here. So again, now for acquisition, now we need to assign the plant and machinery ledger in the acquisition part. So we'll need to go and have to search the ledger. So you can go with F4 key on the keyboard. So in this, you can search your plant and machinery that is over here. Assign this. And earlier, as said, the loss on made on sale asset retirement will have loss on sale assets. Clearing account will have sale of assets account. Gain from asset sale will have profit on sale, and loss from asset sale will have loss from asset sales. So these all ledgers are same as assigned in the land as well as in the building. Similarly, these will be assigned for plant and machinery and for any other asset class which have, will be created. Now, when you enter, you can find the description of these ledgers as well. So when I clicked, it updated the status over here, the name of the ledger account as well. So loss on sale of asset has been assigned loss on sale asset. Gain has been assigned to profit on sale. And this clearing account basically means sale of assets account, which which does the clearing activities for the assets. And again, loss on sale of retirement has been assigned to loss on sale assets. Loss on uh, okay. So this is how you need to do the assignment of plant and machinery for balance sheet account. Now moving to the depreciation, double click onto this, and you can find the depreciation screen over here. Now over here we will be assigning. Accumulated depreciation account. So we will be assigning the accumulated depreciation account for plant and machine as we are we are assigning the ledger account for plant and machine. So we need to go to the search and we need to search the GL account for account accumulated depreciation for plant and machinery. 
so you can search in this screen you will find it over here accumulated depreciation on plant and machinery account double click on to this so that has been selected now moving to the next expense account means the depreciation account so every particular asset have its own depreciation account that you need to select so we'll be selecting depreciation on plant and machinery in this case so moving down you can find over here depreciation on plant and machinery that has been selected and these both the GL will be assigned the same way to the below part as well because the same setting has been done for the next so you can select the same GL over here and over here so in case of ordinary depreciation any kind of accumulated depreciation will go to this GL and a normal expense for the same year and annual dep uh, normal depreciation for the current year will go to this GL that is depreciation account similarly for this and similarly in case of unplanned when you enter on the screen this will give you the description of the GL account again so I clicked on to the enter and you can see the, the ledger descriptions have been updated in front of the fields so this is how you will be assigning the ledger account to different assets different assets has been done now you can save it so this is what I did I assigned the ledgers to land building plant and machinery similarly you can do it for build vehicles furniture and fixtures hardware assets under construction and all so you have to do the same way there is no change in that but one thing you have to take note that for land there will not be any depreciation ledger as land is not in depreciating asset at all second is assets under construction asset under construction will not have any depreciation ledgers as the asset under construction are those which are in the construction phase they are not yet used in the business so they will not be chargeable for the depreciation so you not you need not need to assign any any depreciations ledgers or accumulated depreciation ledger in asset under construction so this is what been done you can save it now so once we saved all the settings have been saved to the request number so this is what we did we assigned the ledger account to land building plant and machinery and in the same way you will be doing for vehicle furniture and hardware and asset under construction so now we will be moving to the next configuration step that is define depreciation area so depreciation area each depreciation area permits the use of all forms of depreciation interest and revaluation calculations a depreciation area shows the valuation of a fixed asset for a particular purpose it stores any information concerning the valuation of a complex fixed assets it provides the following a maximum up to 99 depreciation areas can be created and used in SAP system if required the values of depreciation can be posted automatically in DFI module Depreciation areas can be used without restriction. Each depreciation area permits the use of all forms of depreciation, whether it could be ordinary depreciation, special depreciation, or unplanned depreciation. Interest and revaluation calculations, for example, different depreciation area can manage the same values and depreciation parameters, but show them in different currencies as per the different legal requirements and laws for example local balancing of accounts in accordance with the regional requirement or country specific requirement the balance sheet for tax purposes many countries have different laws as per tax perspective and different laws as per the gap then again the managerial accounting and parallel financial reporting so even IFRS is there and IFRS is, has its own laws and rules similarly US GAAP has its own rules 
and the tax authorities will be will be having its own rules related to depreciation of fixed assets and that is why for different regulatory uh, bodies we need to define different depreciation area so that the respective uh, legal requirements can be fulfilled and depreciation can be calculated accordingly in the system so the separate transaction figures are managed for each assets and depreciation areas depending upon the asset balance it values depreciation net book values and all so moving on to the SAP screen we will be creating and uh, depreciation area for our own company code so moving on to this particular part we can go with the path SPRO and then from SPRO to SAP reference IMG So it seems like slow. Mm, then we will go to financial accounting new and then we'll go to asset accounting. In asset accounting, we need to go to valuation, and in the valuation part, we need to go to depreciation area. So here you can find the defined depreciation area. So we need to execute this tab over here to define the depreciation area. We need to go and define over here. We have to double click on to the define depreciation area. What we will be doing is we'll be double click on to the define depreciation area over here and it will take you to this screen. We can see that the depreciation area has been defined as this over here or even you can create your own depreciation area as well. So when we double click on to the defined depreciation area, you can find the different depreciation areas have been defined over here by default. So this is by default been provided by the SAP itself. Now over here you will find the book depreciation which is the most important part. This book depreciation is the one on the basis of which all the values get posted to your ledger accounts. The second is federal tax as per different country requirement you need to follow the respective tax authorities laws as well so that is the one another depreciation area for federal tax in this respective part you can have different depreciation areas as per different requirement if you need consolidated balance it in local currency you can have a separate depreciation area if you need consolidated balance sheet in group currencies, you can have a separate depreciation area. If you need booked depreciation in group currency, you can have a separate as well. So what we will be using is we will be we will be deleting these all, the last four, because we don't need at this point of time. We just will go with this first two. So we'll delete the last four. So what I did is I selected these. You can select this and you can go to this tab over here delete and this will get deleted similarly you can go again and you can delete it and you can even select these and you can go and you can delete this so what we will be doing is we will be using the first two that is 1 and 10 as the depreciation area for the chart of depreciation 1 to 0 0 so in this the master depreciation area is 0 1 has a special significance take note of that this area is generally the area of balance sheet values and on the basis of this the values are posted in the balance sheets this master area is subject to the following restrictions the values of this area are always automatically posted to financial accounting why you can see this particular mark over here GL as 1 so once we assign the 1 over here 1 basically means that it will post the values to the GL account so you can read this over here this 1 re represents asset area post in real time so what it does it it post the values to the GL accounts in real time means as you book anything over here in the asset accounting at the same point the values will get affected on the GL account and even you can check those values so it's a real-time automatic posting to financial accounting that is why book area book depreciation or depreciation area 01 is very important 
Second, it is not possible for master area to adapt values or depreciation terms from other depreciation areas. So you cannot adapt the depreciation terms from any other depreciation area at all. So that is a restriction in this. Next is restriction is the currency of this area must always match the currency of its con company code. That means it says that the company, the currency of depreciation area 01 will always be same with that of the company code. So if the company code currency is US dollars, then the depreciation area 01 currency will also be US dollars. It cannot be anything else. And once it has been activated, you cannot delete the depreciation area 01 at all. So this is what you have to take care of. Once you have done with this, you can go and you can save it and your depreciation area is ready for usage. So these four depreciation area will be deleted and we can go and we can continue with this so that it will delete the remaining depreciation areas and it will include these deletion request in the request number. So this is what you can see the data has been saved and only two depreciation areas are there that is 1 and 10 in which the depreciation area 01 is the most important part. So that is what uh, with the defining depreciation area. Now we can move to the next configuration step that is specifying the document type for posting of depreciation. So in SAP whenever depreciation is posted with respect to the assets there is a standard document type provided by the SAP itself that is AF. So for document type we can go to this particular path assets integration with general ledger so let's check with it going back to the path we can cross this and now we can go to the screen that is asset integration with general ledger so we can go with the path over here integration with general ledger accounting and in that we can find the next is post depreciation to general ledger so that is over here and in this you can find a tab so what we did we went to asset accounting then to integration with general ledger accounting and then to post depreciation to general ledger accounting and in this you can find it the the next step that is a specify document type for posting of depreciation so you can go and you can execute this tab over here and you can double click on to specify document type so you can find that the document type defined over here is standard the standard document type is defined that is AF normally we never change this document type we always keep the same document type if you want to check you can you can go with the search over here the list of different document types will be available to you and that you can find AF that is depreciation posting so for depreciation posting a separate document type has been defined in the system and that is what we will be continuing with we will not change in case you want to change the document type you can change over here because it allow you to change but we will always take this as a standard we don't go and make any changes in this because this is not needed to make any changes it's a specifically designed for depreciation posting so for 1200 company code you can see that the AF is automatically assigned so this is whenever a new company code is created it gets automatically assigned with this particular document type so we'll be continuing with the same there is no change has to be done in that so we can move on to the next configuration part so moving to the next uh, configuration step that is to specify intervals and posting rules in this step we define the posting cycle which refers to posting rules in the cycle we define how often depreciation will be posted whether monthly quarterly semi-annually or annually 
and the account assignment rules for depreciation posting run. So in this particular step, we will be configuring how the depreciation shall take place, whether we want to calculate the depreciation as quarterly, monthly, annually or semi-annually, how the process should go on. So let's move on to the SAP screen uh, with the help of the path. So it's the same over here. The last step we did was a specify document type and the very next over here is a specify interval and posting rules. You can see. So now we can execute this particular step. And once uh, we executed this part, you can see over here on the screen, they are the company codes. So you need to select your respective company code over here. So my company code is 1200. I have selected that. And now we need to go to the posting rule, double click onto the posting rule over here. So when I double click on this, it takes you to the next screen and you now you can see the posting rule which has been defined on the screen. So over here, the period and methods have been given to you how you want your depreciation calculation should take place in the SAP system whether you want it to be postly, uh, to be done monthly posting or bi-monthly posting or quarterly, semi-annually or annual as you want to go for. So that whichever options you want to go for, you can select and accordingly your depreciation calculation will take place in the system. So what we will be doing is we will be taking monthly posting because as a standard process, the depreciation is always take place at the end of the month. So we'll be taking the monthly posting as a rule for depreciation posting part. The rest of the other part will remain as it is. There is no change in them. So once this has been selected and the period and method has been decided, we can go and we can save the option. So the configuration for depreciation posting rule has been done in the screen now. So that is what in the specify interval and posting rule is all about. So moving to the next is determining depreciation areas in the asset class. Generally the assets in an asset class use the same depreciation terms. Depreciation terms refers to the depreciation key, the useful life of the assets and all. Therefore you don't have to maintain the depreciation terms in the asset master record as it is already maintained in the asset class level. But in this particular step, we will be specifying the depreciation terms that are to be used in your asset class. Depending on the definition in the screen layout, control used. These depreciation terms are often offered either as optional or mandatory default. For each asset class, we need to maintain as many chart of depreciation with their depreciation areas. So what we will be doing is we'll be create, we'll be maintaining the depreciation terms in this particular step. So if you go to the uh, this particular step as a off from the path, we can move on to you can find it over here. So we need to go to financial accounting new asset accounting valuation and under valuation you can see depre determine depreciation area in asset class so you need to go to the determine depreciation area in the asset class and we can execute this particular part over here enter executing so in this particular case what we need to do is we need to go to respective asset class which we have created and we need to assign the depreciation terms. So suppose for land is there, we need to go over here, double click onto this, and you will find that these are the two different depreciation area which we have defined earlier. And against these, we need to define the screen layout over here. So the screen layout in this particular case will be 1000. That is a standard layout which we will be following. So you can find over here, 1000 that is depreciation on main asset number level. So this is what you need to maintain always for all the assets. Same we will be maintaining over here. So for assets we have maintained the layout and this layout refers to the depreciation terms and on the basis of this layout the system decides what will be the depreciation key. Depreciation key means the percentage 
of depreciation to be charged on that particular asset and the useful life so moving to the next similarly you will be doing for the next one that is 9200 for building this is what we have defined so we select this we need to go to the depreciation area over here double click on it and the same we will be doing over here we need to calculate over here as well so one thing you need to take care that when we defined the screen layout in land the first case we need to deactivate this part over here these two options because they are now these are now as a deactivated mode over here when they are ticked that means this is as a deactivated deactivated means no depreciation will be calculated on these assets until these are activated so we need to activate these for that we need to take this tick this mark off from over here for land similarly you will be doing for building and for all the different other asset classes which we have created so we'll go to 9200 double click on the appreciation area again you can find the screen layout we just assigned but we have not activated the depreciation area for building so until we activate this the depreciation will not be calculated on the building asset class so we need to take this off over here taken off then we can go back similarly we'll be assigning for all the different asset classes which we have defined so we'll be selecting 9300 then again we'll go to depreciation area and we'll be defining the layout over here that is 1000 and we need to deactivate these you have to select so as to activate these parts and you can save these options over here so once you save these all fill becomes activated so you can see even that they ask you for the depreciation key in these fills so the depreciation key which we will be assigning later on we can go back similarly we'll be assigning for vehicle select it go to depreciation area and assign the layout and take this off and save it so once you save you will see that these fields become active once we have deactivated this activated these particular options so these become activated and these activated will be used later on will assign depreciation keys to them when we will be defining those depreciation keys later in the configuration steps so now for going back it will not allow you to go back with this option over here with this you can see what we have to do is we have to click onto this red option over here so as to cancel so it will take you back again we can go back and we can check it so to go back you need to go to this cancel over here so once you have done you can save these options and your depreciation terms have been assigned so you can see when we assign these over here in this asset class it asks you for the depreciation key and the useful life so that is what it contains the depreciation area in the asset class it contains the depreciation key means the percentages on which the depreciation will be calculated and the useful life in the second column so this is what you need to go and you can go to this red option over here and it will take you back to the next screen so similarly you will be doing it for the remaining assets in the asset class that is for vehicle for furniture and fixtures and all so this is what is the is the step determining depreciation area in the asset class now once we are done with this particular step then we will be moving to the next and that is depreciation now for depreciation we will be discussing this topic in the next lecture in the next training session because it's a it's a big topic it's a uh, a, a topic in itself which will take considerable amount of understanding so we'll start this with a new uh, day with a new fresh part 
uh, still then you can do all these configuration steps which we have done till now and study them thank you